Hi, this will be something like add-on to my previous second video about S6R receiver. Many RC modelers ask me, is any way how I can connect, for example, my flaps or landing gear or lightning system on channel 6? Because on channel 6, on S6R, is uh, elevator 2, elevator number 2. But of course, uh, on our RC airplane, in many cases, mostly we have uh, elevator on one channel and we don't need a uh, second channel for elevator and of course someone wants to use this channel for something different now it is possible now with new firmware by first sky this is nice uh, from first sky uh, that uh, they just uh, respond on a uh, RC modelers needs. So now with new firmware for S6R and with new configuration tool with a PC application or was script, you can remove channel 5 and channel 6 from stabilization system and use these two channels for whatever you want. For example, landing gear, lights, flaps, I don't know. Because you can set in PC configuration tool function AUX AUX1 and AUX2 when AUX1 is channel 5 in AUX2 and AUX2 is channel 6. But of course, if you will do this step, AUX1 will remove function aileron 2 and AUX2 will remove function elevator 2 in channel 5 and channel 6. Mm. How you can remove Ailerons too but easy on uh, some airplanes, especially on some simple airplanes. You can uh, you can have uh, both two ailerons, both ailerons on <coughs> one servo or on two servos, but with V cable on one channel. Most RC modelers will use uh, this S6R in configuration two ailerons so channel 1 to 5 with fly stabilization system and channel 6 on some special function flaps etc. So we will uh, remove from stabilization system only channel 6 only AUX2 but again you can remove from stabilization system two channels for this you will need new firmware, new configuration tool and you must write new firmware to your receiver with USB tool probably you have this with a sticker here but this is not important so we must write new firmware, flash new firmware to receiver and next step we must configure receiver with uh, function AUX2 or AUX12 if you want. Uh, because uh, it is a surprise for me, but for <laughs> many RC modelers it's really difficult. Uh, how? It's really simple, but I don't know why, but for some RC modelers it's really difficult how to do how write firmware to new new firmware to receiver so I will show you it in this video how I make this uh, easy easy thing easy process so before downloading new firmware I will show you how you must set 
your USB stick for writing a firmware to your receiver. This USB stick you can use in two modes, writing firmware and second mode setup of receiver. Now we want write firmware, so for this mode, this small switch, this small switch you must switch down, yes down, and this cable must be down with black minus wire to center exactly like on this picture. Now, without a receiver, I will connect it to my computer. But later, first step, I will show you uh, where you can <coughs> find uh, where you can find drivers and new tool for uh, for this video for the steps. So where to where to find uh, tools for our job? You will need firmware. You will need a PC application for setup of S6R, and we will need for writing of firmware. We will need tool for for that. Uh, so on First Sky website, go to download and. Here you can see firmware on second position firmware S6R and here just you will press download button and that's all. In this package are two of three things uh, what we need. In this package is driver and in this package is configuration tool for S6R functions about stabilization. What is not in this package is tool for writing of firmware, new firmware to our receiver. You will find it on other place, on first sky too, but on other uh, just folder. Here on point 6 in description of firmware you can see channel AUX1 or aileron 2, AUX2 or elevator 2 can be selected in S6R. This is what is interesting for us. So press download and download it just somewhere to your computer. I have all already downloaded this file so I will skip this step. And now <coughs> about tool for writing of new firmware to our receiver. Press download. Here press tool. And here you can see upgrade light S port telemetry. Press it. Download it. Again I have downloaded this file so I don't need it now. I will skip it. In uh, your folder just <coughs> unzip both files and step number one we will write a new firmware to our receiver new firmware is in this folder in folder s6r in s6r is this file and you can see two files. One, one is uh, just standard world version of firmware. Second is European Union version. So select write later when we will write firmware. Select write version of firmware for your, your system. If we will select different version uh, you will just uh, your system will not work you can bind receiver it will just not work this is really important select world version or European Union version depending on your country and especially depending on your system which you need now with first guy Taranis, Taranis, Eor, Horus or etc. So in folder S6R is firmware and in folder S6RPC is configuration tool 
for step 2 for configuration of our receiver. Same application like on my previous video, but in this new version you can use it without installation. This is really nice. So this is one folder and in second folder we have first sky sport a sport upgrade adapter and inside is really easy and small application for writing of firmware to our receiver so now remember USB stick switch is down servo cable is down too with black wire to center and now I will put this stick without receiver without receiver to my computer and same like on previous video I will only check in device manager write com number device manager ports com and LPT and this is my USB stick and what is important for me com free this is the same like on previous video okay so now I will run again USB stick is my computer but receiver is not connected to this USB stick now I will just run this first sky update, update as port exe file here check write com number this is right for me com free and now press file and select write firmware remember oh, this is wrong folder remember write firmware uh, for your receiver depending if you are just somewhere in the world or if you are in European Union and especially depending on your system which you are use I am in European Union so I will select this open and here you can see finding device now I will connect my receiver to my USB stick with the servo cable I will just connect uh, servo cable to S port this is last connector on my S6R receiver device found please click download button press download and now you must just wait a few minutes when new firmware with new functions are writing to your receiver be really careful about disconnecting of your receiver from your cable or your computer during this process so now, now you can see firmware is updated so press end and disconnect receiver uh, from your uh, USB stick and remove USB SDK stick from computer now we will set now we will set our USB stick for configuring or configuration of uh, configuration process of S6R so switch up cable up again with black wire and to center of USB stick and again I will connect it to my computer and now I can connect my receiver immediately so press just cable from USB stick to your S port 
Nothing special. Now we will find in one of our folders this folder S6RPC with configuration tool again we can use it without installation which is nice and here first step check right com value my receiver is connected again yes check this number checks this check S6R enable and now we can press open so we will open communication with our receiver and for check if configuration is right press read and we will wait for green words complete read configuration it means this application through through uh, USB stick communicate with our S6R receiver just it works this screen main screen is same like on a previous like on my previous video or previous version of this application but here you can see new AUX1 and AUX2 checkboxes if we will press or check AUX1 you will remove Aileron 2 versions uh, Aileron 2 function from your stabilization system and you can use channel 5 for what you want if you will check AUX2 you will remove function LA2 elevator 2 from your stabilization and you can use channel 6 for what you want. Uh, probably most used version will be this. Ailerons are on two channels. Elevator only on one channel. And AUX2 is free for some next function. Remember you must press write for write. Uh, configuration for writing a configuration to our receiver yes my recommendation is after new uh, new firmware after uh, writing a new firmware to your receiver my recommendation is check again setup of your receiver and my recommendation number two make new calibration how you can see in previous video so <coughs> i think that's all again this is really nice function uh, don't forget for write after complete setup of your receiver and let's go fly so thank you for watching and have a nice day